Hey guys, I'm Tati and today I'm going to introduce you to Manika. Manicam is a free webcam software and a video switcher that will enhance your video chats and will help you create amazing live streams and share them on multiple platforms at the same time. With Manicam, sky is the limit. You can do so many things. Some of them are create and stream professional broadcasts to your favorite websites, record videos while applying multiple effects and even create your own. Share your desktop and use the drawing tool. I love that one, it's really cool. Add multiple web webcams and easily switch between them like a pro. Connect your mobile phone and also IP cameras. Apply chroma key or the green screen to create amazing backgrounds. And stream games and so many, many more things to do. But first of all, Let's discover together how to download and set up Manicam. Here are the three simple steps to download Manicam on your computer. Download the free version from our official website www.manicam.com. Then click on Download Manicam. Then you'll be redirected to the subscriptions page. If you choose the free version, there is no need to activate your account. If you choose one of the subscriptions, then go to your Manicam account settings and log in with Manicam information you created during the purchase. To install Manicam, just follow the three steps that you have in front of you, guiding you throughout the installation process. Manicam. Well, that's exciting news. Let's discover it together. All right, so we've got the main live window that is going to be the only image that will be uh, transmitted to your live broadcast. So if we click on it, then we have the uh, option to choose our word. Is a camera or the web camera, games, IP cameras, um, the Manicam mobile source, media files like images or um, videos that we have uh, pre-recorded already, a YouTube uh, link or a desktop or just a blank image. We just clear everything if we don't want to show anything, right? Beautiful. So for now, I'm just going to use the easy camera or my webcam and I say hello to everybody. Um, and I'm ready to apply all the effects or the multimedia settings that are located on the right hand side of the mannequin panel. In the presets we can see the video sources that I'm using at the moment. Then uh, in the video I would suggest the resolution to be in between 720 pixels and 1080. Also make sure you choose 30 frames per second. Very important to have a good quality. If you want to show several video sources on the same main live stream window, then choose one of the picture-in-picture -picture mode options. Beautiful. In the audio settings, I'd recommend to make sure that you have your audio input, it's your microphone, and the speakers are selected as well. Then we can go into the fun mode and use the drawing tool, or add a text on our screen, <laughs> Choose a clock, a stopwatch, or a timer. Mm, nice. <laughs> then go into the chroma key if we need to change our background. Uh, we can add it to our favorites if we need uh, this particular mode to work with all the time. Then if you want, you can add the lower thirds to uh, report some news or a critical video. In the effects, you can apply mask, you can apply a speech bubble that I'm gonna do right now. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, let me just remove it, clicked it twice. And then in the gallery, we can see all uh, the videos 
and the pictures that I've ever taken with Manicam. And in the favorites, we can see any of these ones that we have actually added to our favorites. Nice. So let's just add another media file to our broadcast. I like this one. <laughs> Getting started with Manicam. Yeah, that's it. So now we are ready to either record our video and store it in another gallery or we can go and broadcast by clicking on the live streaming button. Here we have the option to add a custom server or we can go and broadcast on Facebook, YouTube and Twitch by logging in into our accounts. Pretty straightforward. On how to log into uh, Facebook and YouTube, you can uh, access one of our tutorials, which is right here, and just learn step by step on how to do that. To use Manicam as a webcam on an application or on a website, just select Manicam Virtual Webcam in the settings of that application, for instance. Uh, to see how that works, let's take as an example Skype. So just open Skype on your computer, then go to Tools, then click Options. Here, go into the audio settings, choose my Manicam microphone, and in the video settings, choose Manicam Virtual Webcam. And that's what you're gonna have while making a video call through Skype. Save the settings, very important. So far, it has been fantastic, but wait, there is more. You can even use Manicam app on your phone. Just download Manicam, open it, and you can broadcast directly from your phone, or it can be a video source for your Manicam software. There is another tutorial on how to use the Manicam app that you can go check on our channel. If you want to learn more about video chats, live streaming and Manicam, consider subscribing to our channel. And also check out our blog. There are so many new blog posts every week with great tips on how to create professional uh, broadcast live streaming. So the best way to reach us and to keep updated with all the content that is coming uh, on the web is to follow us and like us on Facebook. This is the best way to actually send us a message, send us a question, a comment or a feedback. We're always open for that. And if you have any technical difficulties that we have a special email for that. So just send us an email at helpdesk at manicam.com and we will be there for you to help you anytime you need. If there is anything else you would like to learn about Manicam, just let us know. We will be happy to make another tutorial for you. For now, welcome to Manicam and I will see you next time.